Hi, I'm back with another Squarespace update. This is something that was announced in Squarespace's Refresh 2024 in September 2024. And I wanted to talk about it because it builds on something that they released a while back. So if you saw my video on how I created a website in 15 minutes, I used Squarespace Blueprint, but now they've enhanced that and they're calling it Blueprint AI. So today I'm going to show you how to use that. If you're a web designer, it might be fun to play around with to get some ideas, but if you're a DIYer, it's actually a really good place to start. So let's dive in and I will show you how to use it and some pros and cons. All right, so Squarespace's Blueprint AI was announced in Squarespace Refresh in 2024. There's a blog post all about it that I'll drop a link to below, but what I wanted to do was show you how it works. So let's dive in. Start with Squarespace Blueprint AI. So the first thing it does, it's gonna ask you a series of questions to tell the AI tool a little bit about your website. So let's say that I am a travel blogger and I want to create my travel blog on Squarespace. So I'm gonna hit travel and next, and I want to publish a blog. I want to offer a contact form. And let's say I also want to build a community and perhaps even sell some online courses about travel. All right, let's go ahead and click next. And here we can choose to browse existing templates in the Squarespace template library. These are free starter templates, or we can choose to build with AI. That's what I'm going to be doing today. So here you can see that Squarespace is creating a text sample for me. And this is where I can choose a site title and a brand personality. I'm going to call this Tessa's Travel Tips. And let's say Tessa is her brand is playful. We want it to be kind of fun and interesting. And you can see that this text sample based on the brand personality has changed. So for professional, it was explore the world with expertly curated travel experiences tailored to your unique preferences. And playful gives us pack your bags and unleash your wanderlust because adventure is calling. You can play around with these and see which each one generates. But I'm going to stick with playful. We'll click next and here we can select which sections to add to our homepage. We definitely want an intro and we can choose a layout option here as we go. We can also change this later, but I'm going to go with this that has a call to action on the left. You can click through, choose any of these layouts that make sense for you. And underneath this, I'm going to add a digital products section and I actually like this layout a lot the three across I'm going to stick with that I want to add an about section so people can get to know Tessa and a social section because Tessa's big on Instagram she's going to want people to follow her there and let's do this one's pretty fun you can play around with these and let's go ahead and add a footer all right now there's another section that as a designer, I would want to pull in. If this is a blog forward website, I'd want to pull in a section that has a summary block with her most recent blog posts on it. That's not an option here. There may be other things that you want to pull into that you don't see here. You can add those later. All right, let's go ahead and click next. And here we are getting the opportunity to add additional pages to our site. So we've selected about and contact. And I also told them that I was gonna have some courses. So that is recommended as well. I'm gonna click all three of those. And you can see I can toggle through and see how those pages have been started for me. Now there's nothing we can do at this stage to change those layouts, but we can do that later. And I'll click next. All right. You'll notice that I said I wanted to do a blog and we're not seeing any blog options here. That's something I'm going to have to set up later on my own, but it's taking us directly to styles. And what's really fun is that there are color palettes already chosen for you. And I, I really like the friendly, the bold, the playful, the quirky, all of those I think would work. And we can click through them to see what our site would look like. So you can click through any of these color palettes you'd like and apply them. 
for Tessa's site, I'm going to go with the lavender and green. I feel like those are her brand colors. We've never met, but you know, that's how it's feeling to me. All right, next, we're going to choose a font pairing. And this is a really great place to play around as well. And if you click on it, you can see what the options are for friendly, bold, and quirky. I think those are kind of hard to read. I'm going to go back to this playful, shook hand, and bitter. And I think this text might be a hair small, but again, no worries. I can always change that later. I'm going to go ahead and click finish. Blueprint AI is going to put all this together for me into a starter template. Okay, so we have a starter website here. And what you'll see is that Blueprint AI has already propagated some of the text for me based on what I told it the website was about. Now, I already mentioned that didn't add a blog for us. So next up, I'd want to come in and add that blog collection. I'm gonna choose this layout. And here's a pro tip. When you add a blog, you have to go into the blog settings, go to SEO and change this SEO title because it auto propagates blog too, which is a really annoying bug. But we're gonna take care of that. And now it's just blog. And I actually want the blog to be first here. That's perfect. And because I have a course, it's already adding a login button here on the far right for me. So that is why you're seeing login. If there are other elements in the site header you want to add, like a button, you can come and do that. It's pre-styled for you based on everything that we have put into the site so far. Now that I have a blog, what I can do is hop back into the home page and I'm going to add a section here. That is a blank section, and I'm going to add a summary block. And here I'm going to pull in all my latest blog posts, and I can style this so it looks a little better. If you want to style these, the text underneath, unfortunately you have to do that with custom code, but I can make it bigger. And I'm going to hide the excerpt and go back to content and hide the date. And then we can move this over. And I love how this is done. So I'm just gonna copy that block, stick it here, put it to the left and say latest on the blog. All right, now if you're a web designer, you're noticing a problem right here. This is styled as heading one and really, there should only be one heading one per page for SEO purposes. So Google knows what the most important text on the page is. And all of these are heading one. So I'm discovering that now I'm going to go back, make these all heading two. And you can absolutely change the sizes of these things. And from here, you can go into mobile view, make sure that all looks correct. I'm gonna move my image up here. Plans look fine. Latest on the blog looks fine. I need to get rid of that featured text. I'm gonna delete that. And again, move this image up. All of that looks good. You're gonna to want to go through, make changes to each of your other pages. I've got a pre-launch checklist you can walk through for recommendations on things to check before you launch your site. But you'll see that this is a really great, fast way to start your website. And while there are some design choices and perhaps usability choices in terms of headings that I would personally change, it is a great way to jumpstart your design and get to the end goal faster. So if you are a web designer, play around with this and see some of these colors and font combinations, some of the layout options that are generated. They're fun, they're interesting. You may want to incorporate them into your own designs. And if you're a DIYer, then this is a great starting place for you. 
It's already got sections filled out. It's already got placeholder text ready for you. Obviously, you'd want to replace it with your own, but it gives you some ideas about what should go where. And I think that is a great thing if you are building your own website. So that is it for the Squarespace Blueprint AI. Again, I'll drop a link to the blog article about it below, and you can just click on Squarespace Blueprint AI there to get started if you want to try it out. If you found this helpful, please give the video a like or leave a comment as that helps other people find my videos. Thanks for watching, and I wish you all the best with your website.